What's up, world? It's your boy Iconic. Back again with another video. Yes, sir. We are back today in the Iconic Studios. Back with another banger. Back with another review. Before we get started with this review, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on feast, the sneaker vlog, the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. I thank y'all for watching, man. Not gonna waste any more time. Let's get into it. Boom, we have it here, man. A white and red Nike box. Y'all already know what's going on when y'all see these boxes, bruh. By the way, man, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the quality in here, man. I done switched it up a little bit. You know, we in the Iconic Studios in the sneaker room, actually. And um, I wanted to bring, you know, this light, this lighting set up, man. So let me know what y'all think about it, man. I had got tired of being in the living room. Had to switch it up a little bit, man. But yeah, man, white and red box right here. Boom, boom. You know it's either a Nike Dunk or some OG Heat. Uh, this time we have another Nike Dunk Low. GS, colorway on this joint is chlorophyll, white, vivid green, chlorophyll, vert, viv, and blanc. Um, no retail on the joint, but I believe probably 90 or $100 or maybe 80 since it was a six and a half, but don't quote me on that. Right here, you do have a lot number. Make sure we show that. Hold on. Boom. It is a lot number right here on the box, inside the box for anybody that's trying to do any legit checks. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Nike did us dirty on this one, dog. When I say Nike did us dirty, ooh, they snap. Nike did us dirty, bruh. Nah, Nike did us dirty, bro. Nike did us dirty. Boom, we have it here, man. The Nike Dunk Low Kermit, bro. Kermit the Frog. Um, they don't have any Kermit the Frog branding, but that's what the nickname actually has been um, on this sneaker. And off top, bro, these is nice. These is nice. They did, they did, a, they did a great job with these, bro. If I'm just looking at them off top, um, just actual in hand feel. Quality is there too. It doesn't feel like a um, <laughs> it doesn't feel like a panda or anything like that. It kind of have like this weird textured leather, bro. It's really nice though. When I say it's nice, it's nice. It's a nice leather, bro. Hey, so I already did the video. I'm at the end. I did find out that they're calling these the chlorophyll Nike Dunk Low. Um, makes sense because the name on the sneaker box says chlorophyll, right? But I saw this somewhere, and I, I think it was like a sneaker ad, and they was calling it the Kermit the Frog. So don't don't kill me in the comments if it's not actually called the Kermit the Frog shoe. Uh, but I know for a fact I saw this on a sneaker blog, and it was like, oh, the Kermit the Frog joints. And I just saw that they do have man spares. So uh, yeah, I said this is only GS, but uh, I just looked up on StockX. Yeah, I looked it up on StockX. Yeah, I did. Sue me, sue me, sue me. Anyway. But um, I did look it up on StockX, um, and I did see that it's the Nike Dunk Low Coral Fill, and they do have men sizes right now. Um, lowest ask is about 195 in my size, um, 207 like in the 12. So it's not that high. It's not crazy priced at all. But um, hey, don't sleep on this. This is a nice shoe. I like this shoe. I really like it. It's a nice leather. I like it. I'm loving it. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. These hot. I ain't gonna lie. Out of all the actual um, dunks that's been coming out this year, I probably would give this like, this in top 10, just as far as like quality and look and just the idea wise, because this is nice, bro. Look at that. Wow. These look so great on camera too. Look. Boom. Ooh. Yeah, man, these look great, bro. These look great on camera, man. Quick review, because I'm getting so caught up in the hype of them. Bottom of this joint is all green. You already see that. Midsole is all white, stitching all the way throughout the sneaker. White stitching throughout the sneaker all the way around. Uh, you get to the upper, a uh, leather upper all the way around. Like I said, on like the toe box and the side panels, it's like a little different though. I can't really, I ain't gonna say it. It's still leather, but it just kind of feel different. Maybe it's just, the, the texture they made out of uh, out of it, or it maybe a synthetic leather. I'm not 100% sure when it comes to leather specifically, but I can tell the difference from it. It's a little, it's something different about the quality on the leather, but it feels good. It doesn't feel bad at all. White swoosh on the lateral and medial side. White swoosh, white shoe strings. Uh, you know, nylon tongue. Yeah, nylon tongue, and then you got the green 
right here in Nike on the tab and in Nike. Uh, back on the back, same thing. You got Nike as well. Oh, oh hold up. Let's see, focus. Focus. And right here on the back, man, you got Nike in green, stitched in green. Really nice, dog. Really nice. Um, I like the play of the greens, dog. Like how they laid it out. This almost can, even though it's called a Kermit the Frog joints, I could also go for like. It almost kind of give me like Shrek vibes too, cause they so they could have kind of like did either or with this, and I still would have felt like it was a fire shoe. But I technically think it's great, bro. Like, as far as, like, execution is dope. Wish they would have did more of that brand and, like, really put Kermit somewhere. Maybe even in the insole, that would have went good. A little hit right here on, like, the heel, maybe. But I think Adidas and Disney. I remember somebody got on my head and said, Kermit the Frog wasn't a Disney character. Disney bought uh, Sesame Street, my boy. Anyway, they could have put, like, I think Disney, I think Disney, and um, Adidas have a contract because they do a lot of stuff together, bro. When I say a lot, I mean a lot of stuff together. Might not quote, uh, that might be wrong, but I know they do a lot of stuff together when it comes to like collaborations as well. But um, yeah, I wish they would have put like Kermit the Frog right here or even on the tongue area of the sneaker. I feel like, I feel like somebody had posted on Twitter that the older, like the actual older Kermit the Frog shoe, and I think Kermit was actually on it, and it had like crazy materials as well. But yeah, man, I personally think this is a go. If I had to be honest, bro, for a kid's shoe, it's 10 out of 10. You got the tent, uh, you got the uh, green guts right there. Um, insole is green as well. I'm not gonna pull that up, but this is how it looks on the inside. Inside of the, uh, uh, the insole, I ain't gonna pull that up because it's glued down. Here is the, oh, I ain't even gonna try that either. Maybe y'all can see the tag, maybe not. But yeah, nice, nice looking shoe, y'all. Nice looking shoe. I know bro did pick these up locally. I don't know how the hell he got them, but he got them. But I know they was talking about this. Only thing that's sad about this, it's no man size coming out, bro. Kids only. So, you know, I guess the kids deserve a dope shoe. The ladies, you know, the ladies can get in this, man. If you wear like a, uh, nines, women, nine women, maybe nine women at the max. You could probably get away with a size seven, but eight and a half and under women's. If you wear a women's eight and a half and under, you should be able to get you a pair of these uh, and be able to fit into these. So yeah, man, I want to hear from y'all what y'all think about the shoe. Is it hot? Is it not? I really like the shoe. I wish I could get it as a man size, and just because it's that far, I might buy these joints for my lady. Like. I might, I, I might have to buy these for the fiance, let her rock these, cause these five. If I can't have them, somebody gotta have them. So yeah, man, that is it, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the Nike Dunk Low, Kermit the Frog, that's what they calling this joint. I don't know if that's the actual name for it, but they're calling it the Kermit the Frog. I love it. Definitely giving it a 10 out of 10. Uh, this is something if I could get it in a man size, I would buy it. I would put it in my collection. Let me know what y'all think about the whole new video setup. Um, I haven't been doing videos in here for a while now. That's because my light source, as you can see, the cutout has been covered up. So, the, I mean, the, uh, I know you can see the uh, cutout, but the outs, uh, my light source, which was the window, I know I'm, I'm getting geeky. The window light has been blocked. That's what's going on. Window light has been blocked by my, uh, my cutouts and my new shoe rack. So I had to kind of take a step back and go into the room, but I think I'm gonna get back to doing the videos in the room. I like how it's looking on camera and I'm loving the feeling that it's giving. Sorry if my eyes are blown out from the light, but yeah, man, I wanna know from y'all what y'all think about the shoe, what y'all think about the setup. Is it something that you gotta have? I'm definitely gonna get this for the wife. She gotta have it. She's gotta have it. God damn, he's wrong. But yeah, man, that's it, man. Before y'all go, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell to so stay in tune with the reviews, the own feats, the sneaker vlog, and sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. I thank y'all for watching, man. You already know how it goes down over at my channel. The future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all. Peace.